All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Team here. And uh, just want to play some Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden today. It's, uh, I think it's going to be out today, so it's not completely out yet. So a uh, huge thanks to the uh, developers and publisher for providing me with a copy of this to try it out. Uh, it is supposed to be an XCOM with the... Um, Mutated animals as characters. So I, I don't know. It looks intriguing. Hey Wang, welcome to the stream. I hope I pronounced your username correctly. So let's just jump right into the game and uh, see how exactly it works. So we got some difficulty options here. You are new to tactical games. Enemies will do less damage. I think hard means normal actually and this means easy, right? So they just went like, we're, <laughs> we're gonna do it in a more user-friendly way. Uh, hey Grishwalk, welcome to the stream. Hey Haptic, welcome to the stream. Uh, really cool to see you guys. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't want a permadeath. I'm not. I'm not insane. So we're just gonna go with a uh, hard, which seems to be the normal difficulties. Um, and you do get some reduction. Okay. You know what? Let's let's just start on normal and see. Maybe maybe normal is enough. Because if this game is anything like XCOM. I'm gonna be suffering even a normal, but um, yeah. I've heard really good things about it so far, so I'm quite, quite intrigued because it's been a while since we had a really good tactic game. I mean, XCOM 2, um, what's the name of the extension? God damn it, I completely forgot. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Dux, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if you'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prip closes for the night. So we got a grumpy duck and a annoyed pig, okay. Right, so I can actually literally walk around. Uh, that's interesting. I still have no idea how this game works. Shut the hell up. So we are gonna find out now. Um, you What's wrong with you? Okay, that duck is becoming so annoying even to me. Keep your eyes Alt Q to see zone shut. overview. Yeah, uh huh. You only told me that 9, times so this is where we need to go, I guess. The graphics are really nice. Quite digging that. Turn to the arc. Okay, so there we go. F to split up. I have no idea what this means. Beautiful. Just Rare beautiful. scrap. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the arc. Okay, I'll take that. This game has What is happening over here? Whoa. Okay, so you can actually see their Vision cones or detection area, I guess, right? What I do? Ambush. I can ambush them. Yeah, sure. Let's ambush. Let's see how that works. Okay, so when then you get into tactical combat. Okay, turn-based gets two action points per turn. Got it. Some actions such as shooting, throwing, or sprinting will end your turn. All right. Yeah, that sounds very like XCOM. Um, okay, so we got, yeah, half cover. I guess there's going to be a full cover somewhere. Right, we'll alert the new units. So we don't want to go that close, I guess. And uh, is he out? Of, yeah, he is out of range. So I either alert him or... Mm, yeah, okay. But you do get... So we get 75% hit chance, 15% crit chance. Let's try it out. Can we turn the game volume up? Uh, yeah, sure, we can do that. Let me just... Uh, give me a second. Let me do it like maybe this. So let me know if that is any better. Okay, yeah, let's... I mean, we have to alert him, right? And I guess... I guess it will alert him on the next turn. All right, so let's, let's just uh, fire it. What I, what I press to fire it. Tap to switch targets. Okay, this guy is out of range anyway. There we go. That's a one shot. Nice. All right. Enemies heard you. Well, that's not a surprise. Okay, we got one more guy, I hope, here. So I can sprint. Is there an Overwatch action? A shoot throw? Yes, there is Overwatch action. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put our DAC on an Overwatch. Yes, please. 
And he gonna get shot by the... Oh, come on. For reals, he was like right in front of you. <laughs> yep, that's a uh, max com level of bullshit. Low cover grants 25 defense bonus, while full cover grants 75%. Okay, that's quite a difference. I don't think... Okay, so there's no 100% cover bonus. Okay, you got it. Flanking, yes, I do get that idea. Okay, but I think we can just... Uh... No, that's the duck, right? How do I switch to my... This guy can just shoot him in the face, right? Say 100%. There we go. Thank you. You can die now. Nice. Cool. And you get actually the loot from them. That's kind of neat. We got weapon mod. Is there an RPG part to this? Holy shit. Now this gets really interesting. Okay, so here's the question. Is there secret loot around? Because if there is, I absolutely gotta find it. Um, I wish there was a way to highlight stuff you can interact with, but apparently secrets are not highlighted. I mean, luckily in this game, there's no 75% hit chance where you're right next to the enemy, you know? It's always annoyed me in XCOM to no extent when you're like, st standing next to the guy and it's like, miss! Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> okay, F to regroup. Oh, okay. It literally, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can hide. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. That's intriguing, like the uh, number of mechanics related to things you can do outside of combat. Hold it. Kind of crazy. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay, here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water. Go around them. I just shoot him in the face. Red Skull are too high level. Oh, come on, of course. Uh, let's kind of avoid the enemies. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we gotta walk around and be really sneaky about that. Level 55, holy shit. That is, yeah, no. Not even gonna try. That seems... But there is some loot near him, so I... I wish there was a way to distract him and just grab that loot. <laughs> but okay, fine. Just gonna bypass them for now. Travel. Oh, there's actually a zone change. That's interesting. There are like random encounters. Is that a Fallout? Because I would love the Fallout kind of game with a... With a mutants as the main heroes. All right, um, right, let's Yarks see. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. The campsite. It looks like the family lived here. Lived here or died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Okay, um, I'm guessing the Ark is going to be destroyed when we get there. Is This is somehow how it feels so far. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. There we go. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in, guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. All right, so I guess we gotta flank them. If you are undetected, you can scope out the enemy positions. Okay, that makes sense. Do so you have even silenced weapons? So basically you can pick them off one by one if you have anything to do with... That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So how do I turn off my flashlight actually? Or does he do it automatically? Or will just get detected with my flashlight? Hungry, hungry. I said we take the arc. I know this, this is regroup. Um, yeah, here's the question. Do I really have to turn off my flashlight myself? Don't regroup tactical... No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, so basically it's done by the game. So it was just mocking me, essentially. Oh, shit, no. Right. Uh, I guess... So I'm gonna split up. I'm gonna take the duck and I'm gonna... Try to flank them, actually. 
Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. There's another one. That's another one. Not good. Okay, so how many? Three? Whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, so we'll wait for this guy to go away. Not this way, just go somewhere else. God damn it. Okay. Hoping he's not gonna turn and go the other way. Can I get up the house? Here's the question. All right. Ooh, that is spooky. Right, okay, so let's start the ambush. And I'm gonna get this guy to the higher grounds, right? I've not been spotted yet, so can I walk now? Where's my camera? Oh, okay, it's just Q got stuck. Right, um, this is gonna be sprinting, but they won't detect me, it seems, right? Yeah, so let's just sprint there and hide. They shouldn't be able to see me. Right, so I got the higher ground. And yes, I'm gonna try to take out the other guy um, over here because I have the... Activating the units. Uh, yes, activate. So I will try to snipe him with my crossbow, which is silent. So theoretically, if I don't miss, which is, I mean, 75% is not terrible, maybe we can take him out. Um, nice, okay. That is, like, this is a really neat mechanic. And we got level up. Uh, level up your teams, each mutant gates mutation points. Mutation points can be used to unlock powerful combat mutations to improve your stalker stats. Okay. Uh, C to open mutation menu. All right. This stuff gets more and more interesting. Like, this is so far really cool. Major, minor, or passive. Uh, one of each type can set to your loadout. Okay, so you have essentially, you can unlock all of them, I guess, but then you have the loadout that you can use. All right, set bonus are permanent. Loadout can be changed in inventory anytime outside combat. Right, so I got the health booster, and I guess I only have one point, so I can only buy this anyway, right? So yeah, why not? He's gonna be our tank. It's a really neat animation. Cool. And then we go into inventory, and I guess, where do I... Uh, not available. I guess we're still in combat, right? Okay, and he can unlock what? Health booster, that sounds pointless for him. He's gonna be our stealth guy. Skull splitter. Uh, I guess this is like a melee attack. Enhanced critical chance allow you to pop the head of the enemy easily. While behavior will cost you some accuracy. Oh, so it's 100% critical chance, but 25 less accuracy. Oh man, uh, this is a tricky one actually. I why not? Let's let's grab it. Sure. Uh, hey Donna, welcome to the stream. All right, so we got that. So he's gonna be less accurate than before, but he's gonna have a hundred percent crit chance. Uh, and uh, this is actually active skill. So we got this guy. Here's a question: Can I take off this second guy without actually alarming them? I should be able to, right? Broken gun, that weapon. Like, I'm really curious how the crafting system and all that kind of stuff is gonna look. All right, so I'm gonna ambush. I'm gonna try to snipe this guy again. Uh. Right, so this, he's got six health, which means that that guy is out of range. That might not have been my best idea, but what is the throw? Do I have grenades? How much damage do they do? Oh, smoke grenade. Okay, smoke grenades is not what I want. Right, um, I guess let's just shoot him in the face, because why not, right? Gotcha. There we go. Four damage, nice. Okay. And this guy uh, should be able to just take down him, if I'm lucky. Nice. Eight damage, crit. Cool. So we only have one guy left, and... Uh, He's likely going down next time. He's probably gonna try to shoot. He missed. God damn it. Why do you have to... Why do you have to be like this game? Okay, so... Walk. Why do you say invalid targets? Oh, because I am on the second level. 
Right, so if I go here, here's the question. I, I mean, maybe I don't even need to do that. Maybe I can just shoot him in the face. Shoot. We got reloads. Okay, we don't need reloads. No ammo. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we got pistol, right? 75. Yeah, that should be enough. Seven damage. Holy shit. Nice one. Get over here. Okay, and uh, we got another level. All right. Uh, do I want to increase health for him? I mean, I guess that's not a bad idea. Everything else is very expensive point-wise, so maybe I'll just grab the health. All right. Uh, there we go. So, first of all, why are you sneaking? There is no more enemies. I'm gonna grab all the loot, right? Uh, boombox. Artifact. <laughs> all right. Use artifact points to buy upgrades in the R. So I guess you're gonna have some sort of a base, right? Left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that <laughs> red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it. This is actually great. Okay, so we found a chest. This is a new gun, it seems. I'm gonna take that. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. All right, um, we got more scrap. I think we collected pretty much everything. So where do we go now? The metal bird, what the hell? Is oh, that's the other zone we came from, right? Okay, um, I guess we continue. But yeah, so far the writing in the story is actually pretty damn cool. Like the world is also very interesting. Like immediate fallout vibes here, but we're not playing for humans. We're actually playing for mutants, which is even better because it doesn't feel as old as the fallout itself, you know. Okay, why are they sneaking? Is there a way to stop sneaking? Okay, I mean, we're already traveling. Gotta look up if there's a sneak button because I feel like they're just walking around. Um, of course the world ends. is my you announcements. Do. There was, uh, sorry guys, just a second. When the ice melted, you said nothing. Uh, right, let me just, uh, apologies. Okay, let's watch the thing and then I'll figure out why my announcements are not showing up in the OBS. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. Got some story going on. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. Donna, thank you very much for your donation. You I am gonna fix are. the things immediately and uh, be a properly announcing stuff. Sorry for that. OBS decided not to work the properly today. Humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new... But did he just say humanity last outpost? the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave. Because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark. Explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, aka a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. It's interesting. If the stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's
guess what the elder says. So you are kind of human, but, you know, mutated one, obviously. This is interesting. I thought it was like the other way around. It was animals who mutated to be like humans, basically. But apparently not. Okay. Let me quickly... Okay, let's see if there's more cutscenes. If not, I'm gonna alt tab and fix the notification stuff for me because it is not very nice. The graphics are really nice, like really digging the style. Home sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Okay, let me pause this and uh, where are my notifications? There we go. Come on, load up. And there we go. Cool. Works now. So once again, Donna, thank you very much for your uh, donation. Really appreciate it. Graphics are, yeah, I think it's Unreal Engine 4 if I remember correctly, but I might be mistaken. Don't take my word for it. But it looks absolutely Two. gorgeous. See him. Uh, we got enemies. Heads up to? Wait. They're planning to ambush the elevator. We've got to stop them. Let's sneak around. See if there's others. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's first scout the field. Box opens. We go in the box. Box goes in the ark. Take their food, we take their guns. Whoa! Okay, found another one. We kill some fast, we kill some slow. But we kill them all. Those guys don't seem to be particularly smart. Hey, where is that? Ryan, shame with this to barter Delta would have surely given us this discount she mentioned. Six times ago. Okay, so there's some storyline. Oh, space bar to close. Okay, escape to close doesn't work for some reason. Right, here's a question. Can I take down this guy? Ambush. Two. And he's dead. Nice. Oh, so good. The voice lines are on point. Here's the question. Can I reload my gun without starting the combat? So, or I guess it auto-reloads on the combat start. Is that how it works? Okay, so we took one down. There's two left. I don't see anyone else. Uh, there's another one. So two there, one more there. I guess I'll try to take him down too. Uh, no, it's not like it's it's a weird mix of commanders and XCOM actually if I would put it this way basically I'm gonna ambush him. It's like you can sneak you know in the way that uh, XCOM 2 works and Then you have the turn-based combat like this, which is basically exactly like XCOM where you can um, Shoot people tactically And he is dead <laughs> But yes, comparison with Commanders is actually very close to how it feels when you play it, uh, you know, this way. Okay, so we got two guys. There are two left over here. I think I might be able to ambush them from over here, right? So I'm gonna, gonna hide here. I'm gonna take the other guy and uh, go a bit closer because he's my tanky guy, right? And he has a shotgun. Just gonna go from here. I'm gonna hide. Uh, I'm actually not gonna hide. I'm gonna switch to this guy. I'm gonna un. Um, really wanna unhide. Okay, let's ambush. And I wanna try to snipe one of them immediately. Yes, yes. Activate. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna try to snipe one of them immediately, and then shoot the other one in the face with a shotgun, basically, right? So this guy, and he's dead. Nice. That worked out. Okay, and now, yes, I can see that he heard me. Now we are gonna take this guy and we're gonna 50%, uh, I mean, maybe we can get a bit closer. We can probably go here, right? And shoot him in the face. 75, I'll take that. Can I get a crit? No, I can't, okay. <laughs> a bit unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, so the skill of passive, uh, we have to actually figure that out. Let's let's see. So this guy, where is his skill? Reloads, heal. Oh no, this is the skill, right? So I'm not sure how can I use it. 
No ammo. Okay, so you have to actually reload. Does reload and the... No, it doesn't end. Okay, so you can reload, right? And yes, it's an active skill, but the target is out of range, which is unfortunate. Which means we'll just take our piggy and uh, shoot him in the face, because we have 100% hit rate. There you go. I do like RPGs and turn-based RPGs a lot indeed. Like, it's not even a question. If a game has any sort of progression, like RPG and equipment and loot and everything, I'm in. <laughs> Just count me in immediately. Okay, we got all of that. I think I need to... Um... Oh, no, 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 no. But, oh man, Knights of the Old Republic, they are so damn good. Uh, the cool part is the mobile ports they have are actually decent. So, like, if you get it for iPad or something, you can play them um, quite okay-ish on the road. Which was a surprise to me, honestly. Okay, so let's see what... Can, why are they... Okay, let me see. How is the... How do you toggle the crawling thing? Previous character. I'd recall a uh, map inventory. Split crew. How do you... Is there a way to toggle nature, skill, tactical, hate? No, this is tactical, right? So we want this one. Move right, move left. Ambush inventory. Flashlight on, off, left mouse button. Is it like right mouse button? Come on. Okay. I'm not sure why are they sneaking around now. I guess this is how they walk from now on. Oh, there's... there's I see some loot. Molotov. Okay. You will not only get the smoke grenades, but I guess you can find, like, projectiles. Chest. What do we get here? What the hell is this? Is that a hat? Is that a game with hats? Okay, first of all, we can mutate our piggy. Run and gun. Enables an action after sprinting. Yes, I do want that. Um, I like broadcast this time. This is like, okay, so it's like one or nearly 1 a.m. It for you. I mean, yeah, that's that's a okay -ish time, especially since I'm on vacations now. That shouldn't be a problem to stream a lot like this. Okay, 25 added weapon range. Um, I just want to see how... <laughs> um, okay, no, 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 no. Uh, since it's out range, we're going to put it on a dock. Perfect. That, <laughs> that looks perfect. Oh, my God. Okay, um... Here's the question. Do I have anything else? So we have the stinger. Oh, we have this thing. Can destroy covers. No. Oh, okay. Obviously, this this have to go here, right? It's like a big, badass gun. Okay. Right. And we got some items here. Hand grenades and molotovs. Um, yeah, I guess let's just give him a hand grenade. I don't really have anything else, right? So, let's see. This guy has a smoke grenade. I'll give him a Molotov as well, because why not? Nice. The, the customization is just... <laughs> perfect. Okay, I killed two more guys, so I need to find their loot, but I forgot where. That tab is all... I'm forgetting the tab is actually switching characters, not looking at the map or anything like that. Just gets a bit a bit of time to get used to the controls. All right, um, ten, 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 ten. come on. There's more loot, shiny loot. Uh, that's always good, right? Pick that up. Okay, there was two more dead guys somewhere. Like one of them were further up ahead. Space bar with ambush. Uh, no, space bar doesn't really do anything. Neither. Oh, left, oh, okay. Left click does it. So if you turn off the flashlight, they will start sneaking. If you turn it on, they will start running. There we go. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Took a while to figure it out. <laughs> that might have been faster. Okay, any loot here? I see something over here. Is that loot? Yes. Crap, cool. There's a chest. Okay, so exploration is definitely worth it. You can find quite a bunch of items. That's really neat. We got a stalker west. I'll take that. So what do we, I guess, since it gives us um, armor, right? Two health. Maybe he needs more health. I don't know. No. You know what? Let's put it on our tanky guy and make him even more tanky. It's actually really cool that they changed the uh, appearance when you do that. All right. Let's see. There should be another. No, he didn't drop anything or I already picked it up. I don't remember. 
But okay, I think we're good actually, right? So we are basically at the arc as the elevator. Let's go in and see what is this about. Duck and the pig. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be more characters because that would be really cool. The elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Duck sniffed a patrol that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin. Search for clues. Then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Yeah, the voice acting is spot on. It's really good. And yes, Grishvok, this game is definitely a pleasant surprise. Like, it's really good so far and uh, definitely my cup of tea. But let's see. I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be some sort of a base and it seems like it is. I'm really curious about the whole, you know, customization and stuff. And because we have like four currencies over here and we still haven't seen any use for it. Deltas fix pits. All right. Let's check out the base. Want to know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? Okay, so we can actually upgrade stuff. Um, so we got the scatter gun and we got the paper. Gaper is actually more powerful than my scatter gun, right? But the crit damage and crit chance is lower and it only has two shots. Okay, got it. So I definitely want to upgrade the sniper weapon, right? The silent weapon, 20% range. I'll put that. Okay, so you literally find an attachment that you can add on there. One critical damage and 50 chance to burn enemies. Holy shit, I'll take that. <laughs> and you need 30 whatever that thing is, I guess, weapon parts to upgrade it to the next level, which just buffs its stats. Okay, got it. Uh, that sounds reasonable. And I guess I don't really have any more scopes or attachments, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 18 parts available. Can I disassemble things? I can, right? So let's dismantle this thing for 11 parts because I already have the gaper. I'm gonna... I still... <laughs> one part? Are you kidding me? <laughs> God damn it. Okay then. Well, I guess we'll have to wait a bit until upgrading that. All right, let's see. Crips place. That looks like a bar, right? After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grub. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Right, we found the boombox, right? So we can actually, should be able to somehow, tra oh, okay. So you literally gain artifact points that you can trade for artifact skills. Stand screw bleed out, unlocks an extra grenade slot, 20% discount in Iridia shop. Iridia shop is the girl we was at just now, right? So I guess I'm gonna go for discount first, because I don't wanna upgrade my guns. Okay, no, that was dead. God damn, okay. But let's check out Iridia shop, why not? All right. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I. Iridia provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever 
ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. What chain? What is she talking about? Okay, so the guns and attachments are quite damn expensive. And I can buy grenades that are half as expensive as a gun, so I don't think I want to do any of that. And that is with a 20% discount, by the way. So I guess, yeah, we can't really buy anything. Hey, Renato, welcome to the stream. Yes, you are finally here. Um, okay, so we got the Elder. I guess we can talk to him. I don't know. Will he, have, will he tell anything new to us? Will always be a haven to you, grave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit. And I'll offer you some guidance. Perhaps a story. To help you become wise and strong. Okay, so I guess he doesn't really have anything else <laughs> to tell me for now. This old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. All right, I guess we don't really have anything else to do, right? So we got the area and we got back to the zone and go, I guess. Okay, so we got this uh, Hammond's cabin. I guess this is where we have to go. And there's also something of level 25, which we will not venture to because we will die immediately. <laughs> One, yeah, it's... <laughs> I mean, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. At least we've upgraded the um, crossbow with some attachments, you know. I think that's a good start. All right, so this is the exit, so we go the opposite way. And Thanks for uh, signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder, sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me. Now shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman, ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. That is one grumpy as duck. <laughs> All right. Um, that's it. Hammond's cabin. Let me guess. That's not Hammond inside. Him. Ghouls. We um, take everything. Hey, no that is. Where there's is a shaman. What the hell is a shaman? Here's the question. Can I? Okay. First of all, hide him. Here's the question, can I snipe them without attracting attention? Boy, okay, this is tricky. Oh, this is tricky. Okay, he's coming here. I just shoot him in the face for like, we have to do it right now or he's gonna like, he's gonna notice me, right? So, 100%. Yeah, there we go. Another one bites the ducks. Animations are high quality as well, so really... Wait. Oh, no. Come on. He noticed me. God damn it. Uh, I wonder if he heals the others. Yeah, he might be a healer kind of time, but we'll see. Like, they have a lot of health. Okay, he has overwatch, so I better not move too much. Oh, crap. That is not good. That is not good at all. Oh my god, there is so many of them. We gotta take that shaman down. Right, so... Oh, it actually shows you if you get no line of fire. Okay, I probably cannot shoot... Yeah, there's no line of fire. So, I actually... Question, how do I position myself so that I don't get hit by their overwatch? If I go here, he might actually flank me, but I think there's a bit of a cover here, so maybe it's okay. Um, can I shoot anyone? No, right? That's like too far away. There's no line of sight. Can I throw a grenade? Wait a second. We got a uh, Molotov. There you go. Have some of... Um, I guess maybe that's not the best way. I think the pig would be better, right? There's another question. We got the character point, but I guess I... Yeah, okay, it doesn't work in the combat. God damn it. Okay, activate this guy. Uh, he has um, hand grenades, and this is gonna be... I get them both, here's the question. 
Actually can't, but I can blow up the whole thing. I wonder if that I wonder if this will blow up the cover actually. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Oh, holy shit. Okay. This went great. Uh, no line of fire, no line of fire. Okay, those guys are still... Okay, you know, you, you're just going to be on Overwatch. Ow, you son of a... Nice. Okay, come on. We can take out the Shaman next turn. Not that it would help us a lot, because he already called these reinforcements. Oh no, oh no. Oh, shit. I guess he just ran towards us, right? So he can't really do anything. Missed me. Okay, I think I should be able to burn those two guys with a Molotov. But I first need to do something about the guy over there. Here's the question. I really want to get rid of that Shaman, though. So, um... Reload. I can reload, right? And then... Yeah, so let's reload, because we have to anyway. And I kill him. I probably can. So there's a 5% crit chance and 50% chance to ignite. So if we set him on fire, he will actually die. So let's try that. God damn it. <laughs> okay, that did not work out. So, fire the weapon. Um, yeah, we can kill this guy, or... I guess that's the safe bet, right? We just shoot him in the face. There we go. Well, he's gonna eat some more damage from those two or three. Oh, okay, I need to deal with that hunter because he seems to be the most annoying one. Shaman doesn't really do that much damage and those guys are terrible at shooting apparently. We're fine, we're fine, okay. Um, I guess, wait, does the... The crossbow literally has one bullet, right? Yeah, that's not very good. Okay, so I am gonna... I really like how they show your hit chances and crit chances, like, immediately in the UI. This was, like, one of the big pains of the XCOM. It took me a while to figure out how the hell does this work. <laughs> okay, so let me think. How do I... Can I just... I cannot... Fl like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? We have this run and gun thing, right? So I'm gonna... I have... Two more shots, so I'm gonna run. Yes, run and gun. And we are gonna run here. Um, how do I hide? Like like this, I, I cannot run and gun there. Okay, so I guess we run and gun here and then shoot this shaman in the face because he is annoying, right? And I, I feel like he might have some more skills, so we don't want that, so just be die. Nice. <laughs> Like, animations are really great. Okay, uh, now what do we do with this guy? So we need to somehow... Can we... Um, that is already going to be sprint. That is... I mean, I'm a bit exposed here, but I think that should be fine. I guess I'm going to go for a full cover over here, which means the other two guys will be able to hit me, but... Um, I'm more worried about the hunter over here. I'm just gonna use the gun and shoot him in the face. There we go. One more shot and he's dead. And the ducks is on full health, so it shouldn't be a big problem. It's actually going for my pig. Oh shit. Oh my god. They might actually kill him now. If I'm not lucky. Oh crap. Okay, that's not good. I really gotta clean them up. Okay, I cannot afford any mistakes here. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Maybe I can, because there was something like a bleed out phase, right? So maybe I can just, uh, maybe I can. Right, so let me think. So I want this guy to hide. And I don't have run and gun, so I need to kill one more guy to do run and gun. I mean, I could just heal actually, and then shoot someone. Uh, this does not end my turn, so... 4 HP. Yeah, I guess let's use the medkit. And then just shoot this guy. 75%. Uh, those are even less chances. Yeah, so let's try that kill them. Nice. So now we only have two more assholes to deal with, and they are not that scary, right? 
so let me think how do I position myself so they can hit both of them I actually can't right um I guess I guess here no here right there was like 50% chance I mean 50% is good enough for me let's try it this way please die there we go okay one more left Like, yeah, they, the Marauders don't really do that much damage. So, that is no line of sight. How do you... How do you... I mean, I can just do run and gun in front of him, right? No ammo. I can just switch. I have another gun. We haven't actually tried it yet, so... Let's just go run and gun. And do it this way. Hi, do you like shotguns in your face? Nice. Like, this is, this is great. All right. We got all of them. Some of them didn't even drop any loot, which is a bit disappointing. But uh, far looker. Okay. I guess this is the artifact, right? Yeah, there we go. We got artifact point. Hey, Let's over here. regroup. Med kits. Weapon mods. Uh, one additional crit damage. 20% chance to disable robotic enemies. So I'm guessing there's going to be robotic enemies. Which is kind of exciting, if you ask me. Okay, did I collect everything? So we killed the shaman, we killed that guy. We <laughs> we have blown up half of the house. I hope that guy doesn't mind us doing that. Um, right, so I, apparently I cannot fit through the... Oh, that was a window. I thought it was a door. I was like, doesn't fit. Pick up pile of notes. Okay, let's see what happens with that Hammond guy. Zongul stripped this cabin clean. Almost no, we just blown it up. Gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Okay, so we are searching for the local Gek version, or I guess... Place built with Gek, right? Sure about some stupid <laughs> Eden. But we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. If he's going north, that makes him a great ace. Uh, but, Certified loony. No yeah. one goes up there, Borman. And what's with those two stalkers he took with him? They should know better. They're following orders, just like us. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder what they're planning. And ghouls are too dumb to plan. Someone's pushing them down here. I feel it in my feathers. How much do you want to bet there's a chest hidden somewhere? But before that, we have two points and we can movement boost. Yeah, movement booster sounds like a good idea for our sniper. I'm gonna get that. And I really like the animation. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> Okay, and uh, he's gonna, I guess, going passive for him. Oh, wait, but we can only have one passive, right? I actually have, or no, the stats boosters are always active, I guess. Those are, this is the moth, he has a moth things mutation. Okay. Um, right. So we got a map and we got to move there to the north. So I guess this is where we go, right? Okay. Yes, this is the machine they were talking about. Oh, whoa, check this thing out. 
must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. That looks like a robot, all right. And there was some stuff to pick up, but it moved me for some reason uh, to a different location. I'll grab that. And I see some enemies on the compass. So I guess, uh, first of all, here's the question. Is there anything hidden in here? Yes, there is. A tent and a bike here. That's interesting. <laughs> Okay, so we are going there, right? Yep, and there is... There's an enemy somewhere, but I don't see him. Like, if there's an enemy, we gotta kill him, right? Oh, there we go! Zone dog level 10, whoa. Okay. So, you are gonna hide. Oh, shit, no, 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 turn it off. Okay, so if you turn off the flashlight, it's actually... Uh, the detection range is way smaller. That makes sense. You have not been spotted. Uh, that is a lot of damage. So first of all, yes, activate him. Put him on overwatch. Watch. This is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to shoot the dog. And then theoretically, if we're lucky, overwatch should kill him off. Bingo. There you go, four damage. So the dog should run towards us, right? That is terrifying. Come on, doggy, come here. Yes. How do you miss that? Are you kidding me? Oh fuck, there's another dog. <laughs> of course there is. Okay. How did he miss like the shot right in front of his face? There we go, 100% damage. Here's a question. Can I kill it off with a second weapon? Yes, I can. Yeah. Sweet. That just feels so good. Okay. Um where was the second dog? It was quite far away, right? So what I can do is I can reload and put him on overwatch, because he's a sniper. Come on, doggy, come here. He's a terrible sniper, though. <laughs> All right, uh, reload, let's try again. And we set him on fire, nice. All right, uh, so we can swap to the more accurate gun. Do this, come on. There we go. Nice. I owe you a grog. That was amazing. Really like the dialogue. <laughs> we got the level up. Nice. I uh, don't. Yeah. So we can have. Um, oh yes. Oh okay. So they do have different stat boosts. Uh, two points. Do I want to buy more health or do I just want to wait and buy like, Og Rush or Joker? Draw enemy attention to yourself. And destroy covers, knock out enemies for one turn. Hmm. That's a tough decision. You know what? Okay, for now, let's go for more health because the last encounter was quite tough, right? Okay, let's see. I am about 80% sure those dogs were guarding something. And I already see something shiny there. So we're going to go pick it up. And there's some more stuff here. Campsite. Like hundreds of others across the zone. Filled with the ghosts of humans who were foolish enough to try to survive out here. At least, that's what the Elder says. Somehow I feel the Elder is not telling the whole story. And we're going to discover a lot more interesting things along the way. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a lot of loot around the zone, so it's worth exploring. Plus we got some XP and levels, which is always great. Actually, you should hey, regroup. Over here. Okay, uh, I think we go left range. Yup, and off we go. Okay, I am... I mean, so far it's been great. Actually, I have to go to a zone with level 20. That is terrifying. I wonder if there's a fast travel system. Like, can I quickly go to the Ark? Back to... Oh, okay. So you can go back to Ark, but then you have to walk all the way, I guess, forward, right? This is not what we want to do now. Zone before. Bet you a picture of Grog. There's ghouls out here. They're everywhere. I don't care about ghouls, but is there a loot? 
Yes, there is. Not even a question. Okay, I'll take that. Actually, I have a lot of Look weapon alive. parts now. We got company. Wait. That's a stalker. One of Hammond's. Oh, we got friendlies. Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're a mutant like us on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. Then Selma, I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole lock? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Do we get a new... <gasps> nice! Oh man, okay, this is awesome. Right, so we can mutate her as well. We got seven points. So we can actually buy either two of those or some of those. We got health boost. We got the throw range boost. Okay, we got Joker, which is the taunt. Super tendons. Reach high places by simply moving or sprinting in combat. That sounds extremely useful. We got a tree hugger. Disables enemy movement for one turn. I mean, let's try an active mutation because why not? So I'm gonna go for this one. I'm really curious if this is gonna actually change her looks because it does look like it will. So let's let's try it. So she's like a druid basically, right? It's like a dryad or something. Uh, no, she doesn't look any different, at least with this mutation. But uh, oh, no, no, wait a second. We got inventory and we got it equipped. Okay, cool. Um, I don't really have anything else to equip on her and she only has an ancient pistol, but it's silenced. Nice. I'm gonna give her some grenades and I think we are good. So she actually has a root mechanic that can thin enemies in place, which could be immensely useful. All right, so we gotta go left. So theoretically, basically, if you don't want to explore everything, you can just go straight forward. Uh, we got what the shit is that? What is up there? I guess this is where we have to go, right? Uh, I can see some loot. Evacuation guidelines. Only bring essential items. No pets, no personal items. Gothenburg Center. Uh, this is a very weird street name. So this is like, what is this country? Like Denmark or something? This is so cute. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> this is really interesting. Okay, yes, we are gonna climb up. And I guess we're gonna try to take that guy down silently, shall we? Watch out for ghouls on the road. Why can't I use her? Oh, now I can. Okay. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I cannot. Can't really one shot anyone here. But can I just go around? No, I can't go around. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. Wait, here's the thing. She should be able to just go up, but I guess this only works in tactical mode, right? Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go here. 
gonna go here and I guess I'm just gonna ambush. And we're just gonna try to win somehow. So we got Hunter, like the, there's two Hunters. So we got to get the Shaman first. Um, throwing grenades is also two actions. Yeah, okay. I mean, let's try our luck. I don't know. Can we actually get him in a, from the first try? Nope, that totally missed. Okay. That's 50. That's no line of sight. I guess I'm just gonna put her on overwatch. And this guy's out of range. Can I... What if I swap weapons? This is still out of range. Okay. So, uh, let us, this grenade is, I guess it's going to set him on fire, but does doesn't make a lot of sense in this case, right? Yeah, let's just put him on overwatch as well. What? No, that was not, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. Oh well. Now let's see how much damage does the Molotov do. And that overwatch was a waste. Oh no, now he's gonna call more assholes. Three more, holy shit. Like my weapons are literally not strong enough to kill him off. <laughs> you little I mean, theoretically I'm in cover, so they shouldn't be able, well, they're gonna attack my pig. Of course they are. I gotta get behind the large cover, otherwise I'm gonna be very, very dead very quick. I'm sorry, what? What? What was that voice just now? They're like robots? Okay, so I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna try to snipe someone else. So we get 100% actually. That's interesting. I wonder why. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go for 100. That had to hurt. And we set him on fire. Perfect. We got to do something about the pig. Um, still run and gun. Right over here. Yeah, that did sound robotic. So I'm curious if this is, was the voices that they were talking about, you know. Got seven crits. I mean, we have a chance to kill him completely, right? So let's go for that. Nope, that's just five damage. Okay, uh, she can she she can shoot him 50 no 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 Yeah, I guess let's go for 75% that seems like a reasonable thing to do Okay, we took one of them out This guy is still on fire Now he's an overwatch Crap the melee damage is quite bad. Okay, I'm behind full cover so that should not be a problem. Those guys, unless they flank me, I should be okay. There's a mad bot, what? Okay, he was talking. Oh crap. They have healing. <laughs> he just goes and runs into fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, right, let me think. I can kill him, but I don't know if I want to waste my bullets on that. 25, no hit chance. Uh, I guess I do want to waste my bullets on that, but wait a second. Uh, but not like this. So first of all, reload. And then we gotta snipe something. Guess, can I medbot 50%? Ugh, God, I really want to get rid of shaman and really get one rid of, of medbot, but... I don't have any grenades left. I have smoke. I have Molotov. I can actually burn all of them. Um, Medbot doesn't seem to be affected by burn, which feels a bit weird. Can I burn all three guys? I guess not. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be affected by burn at all. So, best bet is to burn those two, I guess. Grenade camera is a bit off right now. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's reload and then shoot this guy in front of us. Please die. There we go. We lost one. Right. You finally figured out how to use that thing. Okay, let's see. So what can I do? 50% here. 
Everything else doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's go for this one. Not bad, not bad. We're doing things. It's not an easy game, actually, and this is really nice. The shaman is coming a bit too close for comfort. And he's flanking us. That's not good at all. Okay, that's not good at all. Did he just pick up the guy who I killed? Yep, that is not a good position to be in. <laughs> that kid just goes and runs to fire again. I'm, a, I'm fine with that, but <laughs> not very smart. Right, so let me think. So I basically want to get him away somewhere. Maybe even... Maybe even completely behind this thing, right? They would have to chase me. Oh boy, this is this is tricky. I can use a med kit on him, right? That will be one action. Up and at him, soldier. Okay, then I'm gonna swap to my pistol and see. Can I? I can kill him. That's about it. I mean, yeah. You know what? One less marauder is always good. So let's just shoot him in the face. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, uh, he's probably gonna get burn to death next turn right so we need to do something about her okay this is sprint we got uh, she's got what she's got a hand grenade <gasps> yes that looks perfect but first let us hide somewhere What's the question where can i hide with her i guess no this is not good because there's this guy uh, you know what? Okay, I guess we're just gonna stay in place, but blows those three guys up. I mean, it's not gonna kill the shaman. I probably should have used the med kit on the on my pig guy. Okay, I can run and gun. It might be a good idea. We can kill off the shaman who is annoying as hell. I'm also guessing the mad bot doesn't really um, do any damage, right? So I am, yeah, I'm gonna run in front of this guy and just shoot him in the face. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, this is gonna be five to eight damage and this is gonna be, well, this have a chance of killing him. The other one doesn't. So let's go with this one. Nope, that didn't kill him. Okay. Boom goes the stalker. God damn it. Yeah, the hunters are so far the most dangerous ones. Personal injury detected. Careful operation. Wait, he has an axe. Is he gonna attack me? Did he just said you'll be soon killing again? Alright, um First of all. We have him. We can I mean I can kill the shaman, right? But I don't know if I want to. Oh boy, okay, this is tricky. So I guess we go... Yeah, it does seem like he resurrects the guys that I kill off. So it, uh, we need to get rid of him real quick. I also want to get rid of Shaman because he does hurt quite a bit. I think I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna shoot the Shaman first. Should kill him. Okay. I should be able to throw a med kit at him over here, right? Your buddy, let me help you. Why did he go there? Oh no. Okay, that's not good at all. Can I just sit on this guy? That would that work? Would that prevent him from resurrecting? Doesn't seem so. <laughs> oh well. All right. Um. Okay. How do what do I do with you? Guess I would just go here. And then this is 75, 50. Yeah, let's go for 75. I hope. Here's the question. I know that in XCOM you could shoot your own guys if you're terrible. So let's find out if this game is the same. Right. Well, she actually hit. Get that annoying freak. No sweat on it. Need you. Oh shit. Right, I need a full cover somewhere. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. 
Ah, uh, crap, he resurrected him. That's not good. And we got him on Overwatch, so we cannot really move that much. God damn it, no! Oh, god damn it. Okay, so you got the bleed out phase. Move close and use a med kit to save them. Okay, I mean, that's not too hard. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use a med kit, and I have the last one actually, so we might lose this encounter. Which is not perfect. Yeah, let's kill the med bot because he keeps resurrecting those assholes. So just. Uh, that went well. And. Uh, I can't really do anything else, right? So I can just shoot him. There's the. Skull Splitter. Which would mean 100% critical chance, which would mean 5 damage instead of 2. There you go. He's almost dead, uh, so we need to reload here. I think I want to use her to kill off this guy. Uh, no hit chance? What do you mean no hit chance? He's right in front of me. Okay. I guess, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to use this on... Control the roots of nearby trees to pin down your enemies. So what is it going to do? Doesn't show me that anyone's gonna be pinned. I guess I have to be like really up close for that. Hey Donna, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good night and uh, I'll see you during the next streams. Oh no, I get. Oh no. Did you have something I have specific? If I had, I found the mod for the weapons, but I haven't installed it anywhere. So I cannot really use it. I think you can only install mods in the back at the base. Which makes it slightly more... Maybe it was a good idea to just go back. And upgrade first. So we gotta kill... 75%. Uh, yeah, let's shoot him. Is that? No, he's not dead yet. Uh, I don't have any more med kits. Does that mean he's dead? Okay, I'm gonna reload this one because it has three bullets. Uh, that went well, but uh, I can't... I need to find a med kit somewhere. God damn it. Okay, I need full cover. There is one, two, three guys left. Uh, and I have one more turn. Is there a med kit over here? Can I loot anything? I guess I can't, right? Oh boy, did we just lose the the encounter? Because that might as well be the case. Whoops. So let's go run and gun. I wonder what will happen if he if he dies. So we want here and then shoot back. I misclicked and did the wrong thing. This was not what I wanted to do, but it's too late. Okay, so we got three enemies and uh, the duck is definitely gonna be, de gonna be dead. Maybe all of them are gonna be dead. Oh, fuck. Okay. Right. So why is it 25? He's right in front of me. Okay, at least we killed him. Okay, so he's going to try to flank me. I need to stay under the full cover or I'm dead. And there's now Overwatch. Great. Um... My bad, yeah, that's... <laughs> so if I run here, they will... I will trigger Overwatch, right? I can throw Molotov at one of them. I think we are basically screwed at this point, but uh, let's try to do something anyway. Okay, maybe we are gonna be super lucky and... Uh, we're not gonna die, but 
Okay, reload. So theoretically, this guy should just burn because he's just sitting there. Our problem is this hunter right now. Oh god. Somehow I feel we're dead. Robin has died. Yes, yes, I see that. Uh, but wait, they don't actually have Overwatch right now, so I might as well go somewhere. But uh, I position myself in a way that I can shoot them, but they can shoot me. This is the full cover, so we can go here. Right, I forgot she can jump on stuff. Okay. Well, I don't know. I still feel like we're dead. Yep, we are dead. I mean, this game over, yeah. The fire's okay. Uh-huh. That went really well. <laughs> I guess it's a good idea to get all the stuff that I got from the last encounter and basically return to the Ark and, you know, upgrade the things because I can now, like, upgrade the weapons to level 2 and stuff like this. And then try it again, and now we got three characters. So I guess let's, let's like get back to work. It is, yeah, it was really tough. Like it is way tougher than than I expected it to be, and that's really cool. But I mean, we are playing on hard, so I guess you know if we would play on normal, that would be way easier. I think did I put hard or not? I forgot. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember which difficulty I'm I put on. As you go deeper into desert. Wait, I turned on normal. Question. Okay, so this is on normal. Holy sh I don't even want to know how it plays on hard then. <laughs> okay then. I'll tell you. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from its infamous number plume the rat plague within 40 years the plague destroyed most of the human race a quick rake of death scraping across the face of the planet it was nature's revenge revenge against the greed the arrogance the egos of humans who thought they were gods we call these fools the ancients we don't worship the ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are, <laughs> where you come from. I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. We took you in, taught you, and now you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, Never turn on each other. Hear me? Like, some really cool voice acting in stories. Shaman really throws a wrench into things. So, hey, here's like four more enemies. Yeah, shamans are... And I cannot even kill them immediately. Like, they have so much health. Some of them ghouls in the weird my guns are not good enough. They call them shamans or something. Ah, there Their we go. screams alert nearby ghouls and sends them running straight for you. Next time you see a shaman, shut him up before all hell breaks loose. I wish I could. Okay, you know what? We actually have enough scrap to go and buy a gun, likely. Typical standard issue med pack. Heals all types of wounds. Fast acting. Just slap it on and you're good to go. So what is this? Pipe gun and it has range 14. I somehow think this is kind of like a sniper rifle. So we're gonna get it for our duck friend. And he's gonna use it as secondary gun. 
So it's not going to be quiet as the crossbow, but it will Welcome shoot things in the face. My name's Delta. And we also need a gun. Oh, I guess we can give the stinger to the lady, right? So first of all, we got the damage model. We can actually, you know what? I can, I assume I can detach them, right? I can't, really? Oh yeah. Okay, so once you install the attachment, you cannot remove it. Well, that's good to know. Um, right, so this is range 12. So this range is actually more... You know what? Uh, it's going to be 8 critical damage, 6 non-critical. And it has 3 bullets, which means we might be able to take out the shamans with this. Or, let's have a look at the crossbow. We got 7 damage, crit, 5 non-crit. I oh, know, remove it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it's just you have to do it from here. You cannot do it inside. Okay, that's a bit confusing, but there we go. I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> uh, so remove that. Let's see what is more. 20 chance to disable robotics, 50 chance. Okay, for now, I just want burn. I think I'm going to install the robotics add on on my scatter gun. That kind of makes sense. I have 49 weapon parts and I think I'm gonna upgrade my sniper rifle like it, it even changes the looks that is pretty cool okay so we got this level two um, I have 19 parts so first of all let us equip stuff um, so you are fine right you are gonna get the sniper rifle and you are going to get the second pistol and we don't really have anything else, right? And I can upgrade her mutation so we can get the super tendons and the tree hugger, which I still don't understand how the hell this works. Okay. We, I think we found one more artifact. Yes. Tools, so we could actually get one fire damage to molotovs per turn. That's a lot, actually. Extra grenade slots or bleed out by two turns. You know what? I'm gonna go for extra damage here. Cheers. Okay. Right. Um. Can I just go like back to it? Like immediately? Oh yeah. Okay. So you don't actually have to walk yourself. You can fast travel there. That's neat. So once you unlock the zone, you can basically go there. Where whenever you want. Cool. That's that's nifty. Like that. Okay, so we are what is what is my level actually? Level six. So I like four levels under leveled basically, right? Maybe we should just go and check out the side mission, like side zones. And see what is this about because like fighting level 10 is maybe maybe that's why they are hitting me so hard, because they are like almost double my level. <laughs> Right, um, so how do I get there? Can I just, no, I can't just walk on water, right? Okay. Let's go try to explore a bit. I wonder if there's like any side quests or anything like this. It feels like they should be, right? Some sort of path through the forest. Hard to notice. Okay, let's go check it out. I don't want to fight those guys again, even though I have upgraded my stuff a bit. Like, I feel like I'm gonna get wrecked just the same. We got some more weapon parts. I think if we, like, loot a bit more, we probably should upgrade one or more. Oh, shit. One or two more weapons. What the hell is going on? So, here's what I'm gonna do. Wake up. I'm um, gonna put her over here. And then I'm gonna put him out of... No, 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 no. You are not gonna hide. You... How do I unhide? How do you... I want you to un... <laughs> I think I broke the game. Uh, yes, we will try the pipe gun right now. So where is... Why does he not... I think he's a bit stuck. And I cannot ambush anyone because there's no one close to us. Okay, whatever. Where's the dog? Dog, come here. 
Where did the dog go? Wow. You can have one hell of a flea market with this. There it is. Okay. Look at these weird machines. Doggy, doggy, come here. Where do you think they come from? And we got the chest there, so there might be a much the dog is actually also level 10. That's why she has so much health. Doggy, come here. Come on. No? Come on. Can you please Ah there we go. Now he works. Okay. Wait here. I'm gonna split up. I'm gonna put the shotgun guy in their face. Like right here, right? I'm gonna take the sniper, put him behind here, and then put her on the flanks. We're gonna try to kill the dog. Uh, that should not be too hard to do, to be honest. Grab the scrap. Right, where's my sniper? Here he is. So, where is my ambush spot? Where is the doggo? Okay, there is at least two of them, and she's coming here. Back, 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 back. Come on, come closer. I know you want to. And I think we can ambush now. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I am uh, gonna put him on Overwatch. Overwatch. Did she just notice me? I think she did, right? But it doesn't matter because we can switch to our new gun and try it out. We got 75%. That is a long range. Okay, nice. That is what I want to see. Let's try it out. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's great. So, we got her, but I don't know. Where do I put her, actually? This is a terrible position to be in. Um, Maybe here? What is this print? What is this icon there? A bit weird. Uh, I guess, oh, I guess it means it detected, right? But it doesn't matter right now. They already detected me. Tell him I was caught sneaking. Come on, they already... Like, I literally shot her in the face. <laughs> what do you mean, caught sneaking? There we go. Cool, we got one dog. Oh, that actually ended the encounter. Okay, then. Where's the second one? Uh, where's my sniper? Ambush? You know what? I'm just gonna ambush from the middle of the field. Because this pipe gun seems to be very effective. Uh, no, the pipe gun, please. And just... Uh... Now it's getting... Holy crap! Well, maybe now we can actually take down the shaman, because I believe the shamans had 10 HP as well, right? Um, can we just die? Nice! Oh, man, you are the shit. Okay, uh, we got broken electronics. We got the chest. We have a top hat. 20 critical chance from higher ground. <laughs> um, I think we all know who must have it. Because she has the higher ground advantage. <laughs> right, wait a second. I just, I have to, I have to see how that looks. This game is perfect. This game is just everything you ever wanted from a tactical game. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good idea to buy her some health. Okay. Pigs in top hats and ducks in the whatever. So, what do we have here? Elder Almighty, I've seen some crazy shit in the zone, but this takes the bullet. This house must have belonged to some small people. I mean, small, small. That is just the weirdest. Okay, then. Dialogues are pretty great, yeah. Cannot take anything away from that. All right, let's see. Uh, we got some loot here. I still feel like this zone is way too high for me, right? I'm just level 7 right now. And the enemies are level 10, so maybe we missed some side quests or something? I don't know. This feels weird. Okay, whatever. Let's, let's go try to explore that area. I hope there's not like area level 20 something or, or you know whatever and I just get murdered once we get in there. There's a helicopter drone there so 
it's gotta be some high tech stuff there, right? I would I just want some more cooler guns, mods, or whatever. So I was the talking fallen to Arudia, angel. and she told me about this ancient machine she had seen out in the zone, not too far from here. She said it looked like it had fallen from the sky, crashed into the ground, and it spread more than enough scrap around for us. That sounds too good to be true. I'm already expecting an ambush or something. I see something purple. Just walked into the wrong goddamn crash site. Ghouls. Uh, okay, there's the ghouls, but... There is something purple and cheapster fruit tester. <laughs> what the shit? Our brick that has an image of fruit edged on one side and continuously displays a flashing power battery icon on the other it was used to determine the ripness of the fruit. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> okay. This looks like a testing contraption for fruit. I heard stories about singing fruit that could make music. Is this somehow related? Why the hell would anybody this is crazy. Test fruit? You either. Okay. Um, or you slay it at some bozo's head. A so bozo we are like you. gonna ambush him. And uh, he's only a one there, right? So I'm just gonna silently try to take him down with a crossbow. But before that, wait a second. Before that, we're gonna take our lady and put her in a more... Uh, okay, this is sprint. So I guess somewhere here. Just in case the crossbow misses, we can actually shoot him one more time silently with her silenced gun, right? Just... There we go. Nice. Sorry about Come on. We're good. Uh, did you drop anything? No, you didn't. Okay, let's regroup. I want to engage those guys on the other end yet. I just want to scout a bit further. Maybe there's some higher ground we can take. There seem to be like three more people or like dogs and people down there. There's also a hunter. Ah, oh, fuck this guy. Gun parts. Okay, so we got a hunter, we got a marauder, and we got a dog. Oh, here's the question. Can we take down the hunter without alerting them? So this is 100% and it's going to do 4 damage. And then this guy is going to do 4 damage with this or... Oh man, I don't want to do that. High ground range, 100%. So if I do this, and a 75% chance, but it's going to be 100% crit. Nah, you know what? Let's just shoot him in the face. Okay, there's four more of them, at least from what I've seen. Yes, enemy heard us, I know. Let's just use the silenced pistol now, which I guess doesn't make much sense, but you just please die. There we go. So we took him down. <laughs> Not so bad. And uh, invalid targets. I can just. I uh, guess I'll just sprint there. Oh, they still don't know I'm there. That's interesting. So even if they hear you, they might not know where exactly you are. Here's the question do they have a shaman there? Because if they do, that's gonna be annoying. We got the dog coming. We got the chi. Oh, level 16! No, that was level 5, right? 16 was something different. I think health. Yeah, there's a health indicator. Okay, I got terrified for a second, but it was just uh, just his health. We got a pyro there. And we got a med bot. God damn it, those things. Okay, so what do we do here? Um, I mean, I can just shoot Someone, I guess this guy is the priority target. The kill nine. Can, can I? What about the grenades? So I got the Molotov. Molotov should do two damage per tick now, but we also got the hand grenade. Uh, I really hope that won't blow me up. So let's. Uh, that takes two actions, right? 
Uh, not very good. Okay. I'm gonna go behind here. And since the dog is the closest, I'm just gonna shoot the dog in the face. Right, now, those guys are exposed as hell, which is not good. And he's also an overwatch, which is even worse. So, this is not helpful. Which grenades do you have? You have a smoke and molotov as well. Okay, not very good. I don't want to run into overwatch. That sounds like a very dumb thing to do. I don't really have much choice here, to be honest. I guess I could shoot him in the face. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Okay, 75, 25. Yeah, let's just go that dock. I feel like we're gonna lose this one as well. Because I'm in a terrible position. Actually, missed. <laughs> and the melee damage is pretty bonkers in this game. I wonder if I'm gonna get like a melee character at some point. Oh shit, oh no. Oh no. Operation successful. Overwatch. I'm bleeding here. And he got Overwatch, which is again not good. Okay, I'm gonna risk it because it's better than burning. And he actually didn't trigger Overwatch. That's curious. So, what do I do? I guess we do... Right. This is a terrible position to be in, but uh, okay. Why is the sprint? I guess this way, right? Yeah, let's do a run and gun. And I guess we run and gun over here. And I want to take out the... Oh, uh, no, this is going to trigger the overwatch. And he missed. Yeah, I want to take down the chief because he seems to be the most annoying one. Just four damage. Come on, where's my crits? Okay, and this guy can come. I, uh, I guess over here. And we can throw a grenade somewhere. I guess let's burn the dogs, that makes more sense. Okay, so the dogs should actually be dead next turn. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> How did he miss in front of me? Okay, so there's some XCOM-like bullshit going on. Okay, I gotta use a med kit, otherwise I'm gonna die. You have to do. And he revived the hunter. God damn it. We gotta deal with that. Oh no. Yes, I know how the bleed out works already. Thank you very much. I already lost one battle. Okay, that is not good at all. So, let's throw a medkit. And medkit only works on one. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, let's revive her. Him. It was the ducks, right? Yeah. Oh, feels better. Okay, we got the butcher. We got the dogs will die from the fire anyway. We got to deal with that freaking medbot. Okay, and I think... 95, the medbot has a higher hit chance. We're gonna kill the medbot first. Somehow, I feel we're, we're screwed anyway. Um, right, so the dogs are gonna die anyway. Butcher, medbot, there we go. Can you please just die? No, we can't. Okay, one more hit. Oh, 
whoa, he he's gone pushed me away. What the shit? And now Selma is down. God damn it. Yeah, that might have been a terrible idea of going to that specific point to. Oh god. Oh god. yep. I'm down. I'm dead. I'm basically dead. Um, right, so we can throw a grenade over there, right? But that's gonna end our turn. So we are gonna first hide somewhere. I don't really have anywhere to hide. That's also the problem. Like enemies everywhere. Oh boy. Okay, let's let's try anyway. But I feel like I'm dead. Um, so where's the explosive grenade? I'm just gonna take out the med bot because he's annoying. At least I get to look at nice explosions. And I'm dead. Yep, GG. This game is not easy at all. Right, I think that might be a good point to stop the stream. So, um, the game is awesome, but <laughs> pretty damn hard. Still, I think I would play a lot more of that. And um, because I just, I enjoy it. It's, it's great. I really like that. Uh, we're going to go back to Ark. I think, no, and it's no really point of doing that. So I'm going to try again this encounter. But uh, you know what? I'm going to save the game now. I'm going to just uh, quit to the menu. Yeah, so guys, this was, um, what's the name of it? Mutant Year Zero, I think, right? Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden, and it's actually pretty damn great. So if you like turn-based strategies and if you like kind of stealthy gameplay, do check it out. And once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And i see you next time. Bye.